What we have here is a brone. Yes, this is a brone. It's made by CEC. Mm-hmm. It looks like Four Seasons now, doesn't it? Yes, this is CEC's answer to the Four Seasons, and by extension, their smaller version of the Zephyr. Because, let's do a little bit of history here. Okay, first, Casablanca introduces the Zephyr, a 52-inch fan, right? Then they introduce the Four Seasons, which is basically a downsized version of that fan, with round vents instead of oblong, okay? Then CEC copies them, makes their own GE vent, called the Heirloom, right? It, then they made a 42-inch version with those same vents, cap copying Casablanca. Now this one's labeled Brown. Now, this one's interesting. Yeah, it's a 42-inch. It's model P4200. Okay. Solid oak blades. They are heavy. Cast iron motor. Variable speed. Bell canopy. This thing's probably early 80s, maybe 81 or 82. I don't really know. But what's really interesting about this one is that it has a slumber quiet-like system. It uses a potentiometer, transistor, and heat sink. Most of which is somewhere in the motor housing, I would imagine. I haven't opened it up yet to figure out just how it works, but that's what it has. Okay. Brown, for some reason, got weird with things. So, now normally these CEC motors are loud. Hummy, loud, Ugh. But how's this one going to perform? Because if you know anything about Casablanca's slumber quiet, you know how friggin' quiet they are. Yeah, it's a 52-inch motor, down-tuned, Okay, detuned for the 42-inch span. It pulls 0.45 amps. So, yeah. It's a nice, chunky fan. It has brown tassel. Mmm. So let's see how this thing performs. Another thing worth noting is that this thing is very low. Okay? Like Fasco or Newtone. More like Fasco because Fasco also used the Slumber Quiet like system. So let's just start it on low. I went to have a crap today and I was like, ah, oh, shit, 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 more shit than. Oh. Yeah. So this thing was like, yep, you're coming home with me. I've been looking for one of these for a while. One of these small heirlooms, basically. Because one, they're relatively uncommon. You don't, you don't see a lot of them around. Two, and this is most important, all right, this same fan also came ornate. Yes, yeah, so there was a 42-inch heirloom Olympus based on this, you know, Based right on this. Top and bottom plates are cast, as is the switch housing. But yeah, there was a 42-inch Moss Heirloom Olympus, which itself is rare in any size. But... 42-inch! <laughs> no, I've seen this. I've seen a 42-inch Heirloom Olympus once. Once. There are three of them in an Embassy Suites Hotel in Orlando, Florida. Right off I-4. They're long gone now, unfortunately, because the hotel has since modernized. But they exist. They're just stupid, stupid rare. But this, this is the closest thing I can find to it right now, so I'm not gonna complain. Okay. What's really interesting about this thing is it's dead silent. Dead silent. Most of these CECs are loud, either because most of them are variable speed and have a regular cardboard box control, which adds the 60 cycle hum, or they use coil taps, which add extra, you know, humming and moaning and such we don't want. But yeah, this one has an aesthetic low speed akin to a Casablanca. I love it. So now let's turn up the speed just a little bit 
about an eighth of a turn. Something like that. Yeah, there is one of these in the museum in Fanimation, but this that one's three speed. This is probably the first one that's surfaced, or at least lately, that's a variable speed. Now, I don't know why Brone... I guess when Brone first started out, they used CEC. Alright, now it's more of a normal low speed for a 42-inch fan, right? Then they went to Alaska, which we all know. Most Brones we see are Alaska. You don't see the CEC ones very often. You just don't. But, I mean, yeah, it's dead silent. And pretty much wobble-free at that. I mean, it's got a little bit of tarnish on the switch housing, cap, switch cap in here and there, but otherwise, this is a nice one. And it has an intact brown tassel. That's cool. Yeah, this thing was definitely made around the same time as the Heirloom, Heirloom Olympus, because solid blades. But yeah, they copied Casablanca pretty quickly. So I would say this thing's probably 81. Because Casablanca brought about SQ in very late 1980. I mean, there's a ever so slight hum. But it's quieter than a hunter. I can tell you that much right now, which is very unusual for a CEC. They're usually pretty buzzy. Let's go up another quarter of a turn. When I first started this thing up, I was thinking, ah, oh, shit, the SQ is bad. Then I pulled the chain. I was like, oh, it's still going? I'm like, oh, it's still going. Because it's very low. Which means basically the fan has two speeds. It has a high speed and a variable low speed. So you can set the low speed wherever you want it. This was a gimmick in the early 80s. Late 70s, early 80s. A few companies tried it. New Tone, Fasco, and evidently Brown through CEC did it. Didn't really catch on all that much, because eventually, 3-speed became the thing, whatever. Guess it was just easier to just pull the chain a few times than, than it would be to reach up for a knob, you know? So. Whatever. Let's put it up. Another eighth of a turn. Now it's more akin to your standard medium speed. There's a little slight bit of wobble, but it's okay. It's probably a balance issue with one of the blades. Hey, whatever. Actually, no, maybe it's actually a blade iron tweak that needs to be done. Anyway, let's get a straight high. Yeah, this thing's dead silent. And what's interesting is the blade irons and blades are full size. They're not downsized at all. I find very interesting. Yet, despite the fact that it's detuned, it still has a good amount of speed to it. Yes, yeah, the CEC used the same motor for all their fans. Alright. 38 inch with the Progress Apollo. Alright. 42 inch as seen here. And 52 inch, all the same size motor, fills the housing. Cool. And this thing moves a good amount of air. I'd say the blade pitch is probably 11. Moving at a pretty good amount of speed. 
so it's not the most powerful 42 inch fan out there but it's not a terrible slouch either I figure if they hadn't detuned the motor and if they gave this uh, say a 15 degree pitch maybe 14 it would be all right but mm, whatever CECs tend to work more off of speed just as tie ebbs and wind toes do it. Why the hell not? I always love finding obscure CECs. They're always so well made. And a lot of them are really cool, including this one. Yeah, the bearings are good, too. This one smells like it came from a pretty clean house. Doesn't seem like it was used terribly, terribly often. Or at least not too much. Bearings don't hiss, they don't grind, none of that. You know, with the, with the tassel, you can generally... With the tassel and the blades... You can smell them and just you can tell where they came from. Sometimes it'll smell like tobacco. Sometimes it'll smell like weird, like upholstery and furniture or this and that. Each house has its unique smell to it, basically. And this one was pretty clean. Now, let's see what it does on straight high. But one reason it is so quiet is because the motor is detuned. You know? And this one, this motor is, it's, it has a symmetrical speed curve, speed characteristic, characteristic to it. It's the same speed, forward or reverse. A lot of fans in the 70s and 80s all right, early 80s, the motors were basically based off of industrials, right? Which had a bias towards, you know, counter or counterclockwise, yeah, counterclockwise or downdraft operation, right? They didn't really do too well in reverse or clockwise updraft. Lagunas are known for this. They're whatever in downdraft, and they're faster in updraft for some dumb reason. A lot of other fans are faster in downdraft and slower in updraft, but... Mm, you get my drift. Yeah, what interests me is that, yes, yeah, CEC used solid wood blades early on. Like they never used, they never used, they didn't start using plywood until sometime in the you know later part of the early 80s, like 82 or maybe 83. This is the first polished brass one I've seen of this type. I'd love to find a copper one. I'm sure they exist. Antique copper. White ones have been found. Antique brass has been found. Another thing, you know, it's CEC also because on top of the motor, it has a stack motor type, you know, motor coupling. All right? Because early CECs, they used a cast iron stack motor that was reminiscent of a refrigerator condenser fan motor. So... But they kept using that motor coupling, a motor bracket. So, eh. but 
Anyway, there you have it. A Brone 42-inch Four Seasons knockoff made by CEC.